touched on that oftentimes a lot of us are so used to the fact that you know probably because we enjoy the kind of sensation we get yeah. from you know doing that have we you know and, and i hear some people tell me that those dates in your hair are yeah, actually works, part, yes. at the particular function they are they are meant to do so like how often are we supposed to i clean mean our clean ear. our ears or something like that but well, shouldn't be too often we shouldn't it shouldn't be some kind of a hobby Okay. You know, yeah. it shouldn't be something you know you you you're you bored. Then you just <laughs> yeah. So, but other than that, I'm not really sure about how often you okay. should. But I don't think it should be done so often. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because the wax, like you said, is actually protective. Okay. okay. Yeah, but of course, when it's been used up, is you know put out in the open so you can, can clean. clean yeah. So it shouldn't be something that you should leave for your doctor to. To sh schedule so you for a, a rinsing, it should, it shouldn't be good. yeah, but then it shouldn't be done. Yeah, it do sometimes some people keep it that long that it gets impacted. Are you serious? Yeah, so I think I think comfortably once a week would be just fine. Okay, and this is just you know from my own personal experience. Okay, now, now let's let's go to the nail keeping. I mean, ordinarily in Islam, we know that um, as Muslims, you're supposed to cut your your toe and fingernails, you know, shave your hair and pick yeah. and pubic hair and, and stuff like that. But you see, a lot of people, you know, I mean, I don't know if that is fashion. We see a lot of people keeping their nails and, um, you know, making it grow so long that it gets irritating. So aside the fact that, you know, Islam actually encourages us to clip them um, weekly, I'm sure there is um, a medical thing to that. Um. Yeah, it's become so exciting now for people to keep their nails. I don't understand. And the one that really bothers me is when you have children. Exactly. Yeah. Especially sometimes I see people as early as um, the naming ceremony, they already have oh, long yeah, nails. Yes, and you're yes. wondering, how is she feeding the little child? I mean, doesn't yeah. she know she could contaminate, you know, she, how, how, what, how she's she the the what she's giving the child? Because how? somehow your, your hand kind of holds your breast mm -hmm. okay. when you're feeding the child. And you know what? The nails and the part that adjoins the finger okay, actually is a bones. very good area okay. for you know all sorts of substances that can generate hide bacteria under. to hide okay. under if for example you're a muslim who would have to use your hand to clean up properly okay. after using the toilet you can imagine that if you have your fingernails hmm. unless you're you soaking your hand in Hot in water. yeah in an, an <laughs> antibacterial <laughs> solution for hours exactly. you can't tell me that washing your hand could get out all yeah, that okay. yeah all that yeah. bacteria yeah. and then you can imagine if you have to make food for little children particularly okay. we females especially you know, we females yeah so it's 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 i don't think it's 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 a very expensive you know fashion, fashion. <laughs> well, she said expensive. Yeah, expensive. Very expensive very style very i guess expensive. yeah because you you're endangering exactly. you know the life of the children the there's actually yeah the fashion for you know, i think it's an expensive trading, habit yeah. for mothers exactly i think i remember it's because um the society is no longer bothered about that i remember when we when we were in primary school you know those days when primary school you see them lay us i mean on the assembly ground okay, okay. let me see, your nails. Okay. Yeah. Let me see the nails. but all those things are gone now so I keep the nails short whatever you do uh, yeah it's very very important to do that. So these days you know, a lot of people have um, could have um bad odor i mean emanating from the mouth and stuff like that so how do we how do we maintain that so you that we have a fresh breath all times yeah um bad odor in the mouth can come from different um it's not only just from the teeth or the tongue or the mouth that it could come from it could come from even infections from the chest so if a person has it consistently and you have good friends that have been telling you to but you know you it's know. not easy for somebody to just tell you that oh yeah, that's like said, one good of good friends. That's like said, you know, good your, your good friends like should, me. should be able to, you know, <laughs> express <laughs> some tough love. <laughs> your good friends. Okay, you know, like not, yeah. 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 <laughs> not your acquaintances. <laughs> your good friends. Right, yeah. So if that has happened, then of course, one thing that you can do, one of the simple things you can do, is brushing twice a day and washing, okay. brushing your tongue. A lot of times you see that the tongue could actually yeah, help you us. Said some of, some of this comes from the chest, from yeah. Within. So how do you get to do that? How yeah, do if you've done that and it's not working, that? you can see your dentist. Okay. And then scaling and polishing also like helps. You mentioned yeah, and be, beside, and then you can see your dentist, and then they can look at it and also see if you might be suffering from something else. You know. If chest infections like I said could make that happen so those are things that you need to look at but you, you, you don't have to what I'm trying to say is you don't have to suffer in silence okay, okay? it's up. not yeah it's, it's not very, very it's not important. a brand you don't have to okay. make yourself look like 
oh, you know something bad is happening. happening no you can get help because okay. help is actually you know available okay. i think that's a very important one to round it all up i think we need to mention something about the clothing you know a lot of people um, i mean how do you maintain a um, personal hygiene a very good hygiene through the clothes you put on i mean you could see there's, there's something about damp clothes and yes. then and putting yeah. Uh, putting on a particular clothes, I think it's just fine. Probably, you know, gonna, uh, let me sorry, let me help you that way. Okay. You know, somebody could just come back from work today and be like, Oh, this shirt is too expensive, I can't wash it now. You know, go, you know, spray it outside and be like, Maybe three days after I'm going to wear it. Right. You know, what, what's your view about that? that? Is there anything about that? As in, how, how do we is it allowed? Well, our weather is um, doesn't allow for a lot of um. A lot of maneuvering. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's depending on where you work. Maybe okay. if you're sitting in the AC for 24 hours a day, you can allow yourself to do that. Just but if that. not, if you're sweating a lot into your clothes, but you think they're not so dirty, just try to air them, especially like in the there. sun. Okay. If you can get your clothes aired in the sun, the sun is actually, I don't know, it's such a very good disinfecting it's agent if you allow me to say in fact sometimes we tell people if you have a baby you know try to dry the child's clothes in the sun very important yeah because the ultraviolet rays the light the heat okay. it's able to kill a lot, a lot of, of yeah a lot of germs even yeah. sometimes you have something settling in the clothes and it's able to actually kill them okay. so try to so in the, get in the into the sun of it if it's not dirty but okay. if it's dirty okay. then it's got to you be washed to okay. Okay. did you, did okay. you so hear that if it's yes, dirty you have to get yeah. them <laughs> <laughs> inshallah it's it's like, it's on, on this note i'm sure it's, it's really been an educating time i wish we can just touch every area but i'm sure we don't have much time to do that no we could get to do that some other time to yeah, sure, but it's really been a good time we say just after our to you know it's obvious that it's not just the talking thing that she can do and all that you know there's more to that i'm sure when i mentioned it a lot of people would think we're coming to talk about debating here and all that but you know muslim sisters or sometimes they wonder if she's a real doctor Exactly. Oh, so <laughs> like, I guess this has been able to prove them wrong yeah, because mashallah. she has been able to explain this thing, you know, th from the medical mashallah, um, mashallah. perspective, you know. And I think that's a lesson to us all that, you know, aside the natural skills you have, you need to get yourself educated in some particular aspect. And, you know, wise ladies will try to showcase a lot of sisters that are into a lot of things to, you know, to encourage us all to, to put on a lot of things because we are Muslim sisters and we are the future of the Ummah. When we are good, then the society is good. When we are bad, then society could be bad so we hang it all up here today on this episode of vice this i hope you did learn a lot i mean it's important very very important for you to maintain a personal item because the first of islam was Allah very yesterday. very clean was yeah. very very neat so you don't have a choice not to be neat so join us same time same station for another mind-blowing episode of vice till then keep on being good assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh